Hi everyone, this is a reading for Aries. I did a quick shuffle before I started and this is what popped out Aries. Let's have a look. Yeah, wow. Okay. So this is coming off the back of three heartaches or literally feeling like you've just, your heart's had enough. It's, it's done for now. You had to put yourself in a really hard situation or you've been in an incredibly hard situation, but went through this hard situation and having to actually feel like you've been stuck somewhere, whether it's med, you know, mentally, physically, uh, it's made you actually realise that you actually have to cut out some stuff in your life, whether it's people, places, things, but I really think it might be people. It could also be the way that you speak to yourself. But I think you've had a lot. You've just really had a lot of enough. You've just had enough of overconsumption. You've had enough of beating yourself up too. You've also really had enough of this could be a um, air sign in your life. But I really see this as your energy of you just standing up and just going, right, yep, I'm not going to have that extra drink tonight. It messes me up. I'm going to take control. I'm not going to hang out with people that do that sort of stuff. They get messed up and then I ended up in trouble and I've had enough of it. I've had enough of the drama in my life. I've been like this for a long time. So I'm making a, I'm making a stand <laughs> and you're shifting it up. And it's, uh, it's the energy that's been going on. It's like, yeah. That that was great, thanks. I was there for ages, but, you know, it's time to move on, folks. I've had enough. I've had enough. Look at that. Oh, I've my card. I've had enough. So you're coming out of hermitage. You, you've been in this period for so long that you, you, you're you over it. I think you're getting cranky with it is probably the best way of describing it. You've had enough of this soul searching and this dark night of the soul type of stuff and you're like, okay, that's great. Go on, it's time to get moving again. I am getting my inspiration back. Yeah, great. Let's go. Let's see where we're heading. That's the past. Where are we going, Aries? We're moving out of this, that's for sure. Fantastic. Look at the colours, yeah. Complete change. Oh, dark. Here we go. So, yes. This flips over on this too. If you have a look at this card, it's a Seven of Swords, and it's having to sneak away in the night from home and hearth and loyalty and all that. You can sort of see that card like that, but it's also going in and protecting yourself also leaving them not completely undefended. Left them a sword. Maybe you couldn't carry it. I don't know. But you've just like, you're moving away from that. Maybe you had to leave and move to a new scenario, a new place, a new mindset, a new group of people. Move away from the past. And in true airy style, basically Phoenix rising has occurred basically coming straight over that. That's the way I see it. You can see the flame there. Well, you took that flame and you just went, bam. Look, phoenix rising, okay? Could it be any clearer? You pulled on that passion, or you were about to pull on that amazing passion of yours and rise like a phoenix. <sighs> You are listening to your intuition. This is basically universe stepping in. And because you made a stance and said, right, I've had enough of all this rubbish. I'm taking a stand. I'm getting my mojo back. I'm looking after me. I'm protecting my energy and myself. I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. I've seen enough. I've seen as much as I want to see of this for now anyway. I've seen enough of the deception. I've been soul searching for long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you in the middle. Oh, aren't you stunning? Oh, Aries, when you're in your power. What an absolute. Oh, just got chills. What a beautiful card. Look at you. Yeah. Say no more. No more of this hiding in the shadows and 
dealing with other people's drama and it's time to, to make people realise exactly who you are. You need to get the stability back up and running and you know that and that's where you're taking your stand. You want to be able to show people, younger people, other people, just the way to do it. You've learnt so much over your life. How to make sure that you're protected, not just financially, but also emotionally in times of hardship. And how to also look after others. You might be getting to a, an older stage in your life, not so youthful, where you're realising that um, you've learned a lot. And with that, it's just made you more powerful. I'm going to take this. I don't know if you can see that card. So it's tempting out the side there. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it. Yeah. So you're realising that when you have stability in your life, all this didn't give you stability. If anything, it just made you feel completely unstable and just completely took your power and maybe end up having you in a really cold stance and really isolated for some time. You know now how to build your stability back up. It's by putting up boundaries, not just to other people's continual abuse of boundaries and causing heartache, but it's also yourself doing that to yourself, you know. You're checking yourself before you wreck yourself, maybe not all the time, but most of the time, you know. You're becoming a lot more wiser, and it's building a really firm foundation. And with that firm foundation, you're rising back up into your power again. And when you're back fully in your power, there's nothing that can stop you from doing whatever you want. Having that beautiful stability and happiness. No longer hiding in the shadows, but being loud and proud. Wow. I'll just flip through these because look what came out. You could have multiple ideas on, on what you could be doing, but you could literally be wanting to tell people, eight people, or you just want to tell people exactly what you think of the whole scenario. Okay. It could come back, of course, from childhood. Absolutely. And it's really a lot to do with your base stability here. Maybe the base stability wasn't there from childhood and now you're giving it to yourself. You're listening to your intuition but you're also listening to what other people say, <laughs> as in, you know, there's probably gossiping going on around you, but you, in a lot of ways, you're laughing at it now. You're not getting involved in it. I mean, look how amused this person looks at the, ch you know, the chatter. It's like, just, just let it slide. Because this is actually going to lead to you getting back in control, back in control and defeating any sort of, things that people serve will say to you. I mean, you just don't have time for it. You don't have time for people that sort of live in that aggressive poverty state. You'll leave it. You'll move away from it. You'll end up with incredible happiness and stability from it. Even if you have to do it solo in areas, you're quite capable of solo, male or female. You're very driven and can do it. I mean, you'd probably surround yourself with a, at least a couple of people of loyalty but the most important is to be loyal to yourself by choosing you because this is going to bring incredible balance into your life, incredible balance. No more of this heartache and having to pour out your emotions and dealing with the drama and getting stuck. No more. Time to get the inspiration back. Time to rise yourself from the ashes. Pull yourself out of the hermitage. You have so much to give people. Don't. Don't deal with individuals anymore that take and don't give, okay? You could be dealing with lots of memories from the past and wondering why it keeps on recurring. Well, now this is the time to actually take your power back and go, right, no, wait a second. 
I know how to bring stability back into my life. I'm going to choose me. Okay? Choose you. Don't deal with individuals that have a lack mentality and are aggressive or, or make you feel in fear in any sort of way. Move away from those scenarios and do it grace with grace. I mean, these poor individuals look like they're fleeing for their life, but... Make sure you move away from any aggressions, even if the house on the outside literally looks all beautiful. I reckon inside with the five, five of pentacles, the roof's falling in, you know. Time to leave. Move up again. Get your stability back. This is going to bring justice back into your life and you're going to start to shine again. Aries, hey, the whole world needs this. You're beautiful when you do. I really hope that helped. I love you all and bye for now.